Hey guys, real quick before we get into the video, I have started a sponsorship with Velocity Builds. They have some sweet pre-built PCs for you guys that are well-priced and zero branding on the actual cases themselves, which I enjoy. Their Black Friday sale is going on right now, so make sure you check that out and get 5% off with code CRUXEL5. Link is down in the description. All right, on to the rest of the video. This is another laid back kind of talky video, but I figured it deserved its own content, I guess you could say, because I've gotten a lot of DMs and a lot of comments asking what my opinion is of this new Trust Factor matchmaking that Valve has launched in the game. As of about eight days ago when I recorded this, I played a fair bit of matchmaking since this has launched and I do have some opinions on it. So first up, people are asking me, um, this is unfair, you know, I get reported all the time. Sometimes I have to leave games and my simple answer to that is one, everyone's gonna get reported a certain amount, especially when you're playing better than your rank. Um, I know a lot of people get re-ranked at lower ranks because of ELO decay and stuff like that and you want to be playing good to rank up, obviously. You don't really have to worry about that. Valve has spent a lot of time on this and I really do think since Prime 2, that they have a really well made system of balancing out those fake reports, you know, from report bots. No one's going to go out of their way to report bot you if you're actually playing legit. Just don't taunt them and don't egg them on is my one answer to that. And then on the side of uh, you have to leave games, don't be a dipshit. Like, obviously, you're going to be having a lower trust factor if you're having to abandon matches. It says there's a warning that says it's going to take 90 minutes. Make sure you guys aren't going AFK or having to leave the game. I know a lot of uh, silvers do that for some reason. It happens a lot when I used to play in that rank, and it's really frustrating. And, and you deserve a lower trust factor if that's going to be the case. Now, on into my opinion on it, I do still stand by the fact that I think Valve should not release the data or how they collect you know their numbers for the trust factor i really think that should be held private because again people will find a way to manipulate that for their gain and i think they should keep it in private with that being said i think their wording in this article that they linked when they launched trust factor can be a little better written they're a little vague in some areas where i think they could have been more specific without giving too much away such as how they they said the time spent playing other games in your steam account because personally i don't pc game too much recently honestly it's just becoming a, a bit burnt out for me i guess you could say and a lot of my friends are busy and with that I have gotten time to play Counter-Strike because I like the game but other games I guess uh, lately I've been playing a lot of COD but before that there really was not many hours on my account playing other games in my opinion it should be total hours in other games and I'm not sure if it's like that the, the way they phrase it they make it sound like it's your recent hours in these games I have hundreds of other hours in different games so my trust factor should be good from that point of view but if they are going off your recent hours I am kind of fucked there because I literally have only been playing Counter-Strike uh, and that's just because I like that game over all the other games in my library and I haven't bought any new games recently besides Call of Duty. The other thing I don't like is how they seem to have kind of taken less of a focus on the actual ranks for skill. I'm getting a lot of screenshots from you guys showing you where you're Nova and you're playing against LEs and shit like that. I personally have had that experience myself. I thought that was hyperbole, but it is a common thing. And while that's bad of course because you're either playing people way better than you or way worse than you and it just makes the game not fun the other thing is it kind of takes away from that feeling of knowing your progression there was no actual elo meter and again i don't think they should ever add that but a lot of people used to be able to at least when prime was around play games and you would see hey okay i've been playing against let's say for example i'm mge right now i've been playing against mges and then i've been winning and winning and winning and now this recent game was almost all dmgs so i know i'm about to rank up that feeling has kind of been taken away with this update and it's just not as fun because I'll be playing and I got, for example, a four win streak with my buddy Wyatt yesterday. And on the last game, I played against a team of two LEs and three Gold Nova ones. And they said they were not queued. So that definitely should not be happening because all five of those people had a experience with their team that they shouldn't have, you know, even had in the first place. Those LEs were probably yelling at the Novas and the Novas are probably wondering why the fuck the LEs were sweating so hard and so good at the game. Uh, and I, I think that feeling should be brought back of kind of knowing your overall standing in the ranks. And that's kind of taken away with this trial system on the other hand that is pretty fresh so they could be just kind of calibrating things i think we have to give it a bit more time before we totally say that the ranks are broken you know the way it's queuing but um let me know how your guys's experience is down in the comments below if you have had this issue with other ranks queuing against you that are nowhere near yours and if you think there are any holes in their current system again i think they should kind of rephrase to us how they're gauging this whole other games on the steam account thing you guys really don't have to worry about getting reported because everyone's going to get reports here and then as long as you're not legit cheating they're gonna find out that you're legit basically and not count that against you so yeah that pretty much does it for my experience with trust factor so far and my thoughts on it again this is just a super casual video i wanted to get out there so people could stop asking me pretty much new video here in a couple days hope everyone has an amazing thanksgiving if you're in the u.s and practice that and yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching Smoke that I blow up, become a
no joke.